we have five sensors. There's a front, right, front, middle, front, and left. There's a back right and a back left. Alright, when one of these sensors is triggered, doesn't matter which one, this is gonna flash for these two flash sites will flash for ten seconds. While this is flashing, it though this will not reset if you score another one. It continues to flash for ten seconds. So it doesn't matter how many times you shoot afterwards, this will this will continue to flash for ten seconds until the time's up. This is an elevator system. It has three buttons on a ground floor. Uh, you'd be able to call any the elevator to any floor, the first, second, or third floor. So that, that would be the second floor and the third floor. The entire system uses a sonar device that picks up the distance that this motor is from the sonar device that would tell each floor. Uh, two inches is the first floor, four inches is the second floor, and eight inches is the third floor. It also, you just saw, has a safety mechanism, so once uh, the elevators stop moving for 12 seconds, it returns to the first floor and rests at the first floor. So, say you were a person on the first floor, you get in the elevator and you want to go to the third floor, you would press the button and then take you to the third floor. You can get off. And then say someone was on the ground floor and they wanted to come back to them, they could press that button and it returned to them. And you can go to the second floor and then back to the first. And it's a continuous loop that won't stop, and you can go from any floor to any floor. Also, when it's uh, going from floors, it has three lights here, LED lights. Uh, right now, the red light is on, which stands for the first floor. The second floor is a yellow light, and the third floor is a green light. So it will tell you what floor you're on. So we decided to put everything in the bottom of it so you could load on the top. This is the bottom view. Uh, we put 292, 393 motors in the bottom and wired everything up. And we used one sensor and that was the bump switch. The bump switch is used to both start the vehicle and stop the vehicle. The car should travel back and forth as many times until the bump switch is pressing home. After it's held down, it should complete one more cycle. And finally coming to stop. Alright, uh, it's supposed to wind the cable up and down, uh, and it's supposed to go for a set rotation, so it counts here in the encoder. And this button makes the left, the left makes it go up, and the right makes it go down, and then once it counts, it'll stop. But you can keep running the program, and if you need to kill it, you just hit the kill switch, and then it makes these buttons dead, so it won't run any longer. The objective of this design is we had to have cookies be placed onto a machine and have a drop of chocolate placed in the cookie, and from there it goes into packaging. Uh, we use a conveyor belt system. The cookies come down the chute, and the conveyor belt is powered by a 269 motor. And for our chocolate drop device, we have a gear train powered by another 269 motor. We only use two motors for this, and here it is. Oh, there's a drop. There we go. Look at that delicious. Oh, there we go. Stop it once you get to the last cookie. I don't know where it's the last it's cookie. Right. It's the last cookie. Oh, oh it's on the tray. Yeah.